Hey friends, it's Kyle. Welcome to another Adobe Express drawing exercise. Today we're going to look at the growth cycle of a flower. Let's get going. We'll start with one of the decorative brushes. This is the last category here. Tap on decorative. You can always just scroll down too if you want to do it that way. And we're going to be using this grass brush. So tap on the grass brush, make it a little bit bigger. And then we're going to use a custom green color. We'll go to custom, select green, and use a color like this. It's not too saturated. There we go. And all I'll do is just paint along here like this. I'm going to fill enough of an area that I can cover the bottom half with a different brush. Let's now move away from the decorative brushes up to the art supplies. And here I'm going to select the French Impressionist brush. Once again with a custom color, we're going to move more to the yellow like this, and then down a little ways like that, because we're going to be painting some dirt. I'll make my brush a little bigger again, and just paint along the bottom here. So we're looking at a cross section where we have our grass, and beneath that we have our soil. All right, now we need to paint our seed. We're just going to go up to our hard round brush. I'll select the orange, make the brush a little bit bigger, about 150 pixels or so, and I'll just, right about here in the middle of the dirt, or a little higher, I'm going to tap and pull like that. The last thing I'll do is pop a few clouds up in the sky. And to do that, I'm going to use the same brush and select my blue color, go to our custom colors and make this a lot lighter and less saturated, like that. And then just paint a little cloud here, like that. Maybe paint one here that enters from the top. Maybe poke one in that way. And maybe we'll have a corner of one up there. We're actually going to save this. So we'll hit download and save that to our downloads folder. And the reason we're doing this is because we're going to create a couple of more drawings and save them as well, and then animate this growth cycle. Sticking with our hard round brush, we'll reduce the size to about 30 pixels. And we're just going to grow a little sprout like that. Let's go ahead and add a thinner sprout at the bottom, representing something like a root. So I'm reducing the size of my brush to about 15. And we'll just do that. Great. Go ahead and download. And moving on, we're just going to add a root and make this one a little longer. Go back to the size we had before, which was about 30 pixels. And I'll just continue growing up past the grass. Download. Using the same brush, I'm going to add a leaf and then extend our stem. Once again, we'll download. And now we can start with our flower. Use a color that is nice and bright and easy to see. I think I'll select this pink color here. My brush is the same size as before. And I'm just going to make a couple of petals that are close together like this. I'll go ahead and download. And then I'm going to make the petals a little bigger and open up the flower. Like that. Now I'll just use the yellow and tap in the middle. And there I have my flower. I'm going to download this one. And I have everything I need now to show the growth cycle. 
So we're going to head back to our main editor by tapping on the Adobe Express logo. Back here on the home page, we're going to make a video. Notice that the size of our document is horizontal, but the images we created were squares. So what we'll do is resize the document right here. And I'm going to change the size to 1600 pixels by 1600 pixels and say resize. Now let's add our images. Using our media, we'll upload from the device. Here in my downloads, I can see the most recent pictures I just downloaded from Express. I'll grab all of these together and bring them in. Next, I'll select all the images. And here with the alignment tool, tap on middle and center. We'll make this a little bit bigger to fill our canvas. And this way, all of our images are now together, sitting right on top of one another. We're going to tap on show layer timing. This will help us show the images in the correct order. The images may appear out of sequence. You can rearrange them by looking at the thumbnails and seeing which images belong where. So here we go. The very last image, which is our full flower, I'm going to slide this back so it appears last. I'll do the same for the next image, put it just a bit before. And we'll continue to do this with each image. Looks pretty good. You'll notice that I cannot see the roots and the sprout in the second, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth image. This is because the first image with the bean needs to hide when I get to the second. This is easy enough to do. We'll tap on that image and drag it to the bottom. This way we can see everything sprout correctly. You may have to adjust some of the layers so that they are not hiding the information that you need to see for each step. OK, it's looking good. Finally, I'm just going to add a little title. We'll tap on text, add text, and I'll type flower life cycle. Select it all and use the dynamic layout here. Then I'll select a slightly more interesting font. With my text options, I'm going to encapsulate everything in a shape. I think this is a nice one to use. And then I can make everything a little smaller and just drag it up to the center. And let's hit play. There you go. You've just created a flower life cycle. If you want to add more text for each step of the process, you can do that. You could even add a voiceover by tapping on media and then audio and recording your voiceover. Or if you wish, you can add music right here. Here's a bonus tip for you. If you want to make your animation a bit fancier, you can always select one of the graphics. And for each of the steps, you can add some subtle animation to have them fade in. Tap on animation, tap on the in option, and use fade right here. I'll do this for the rest of the images, and you'll see what that looks like. Now let's hit play. Don't forget to name your file. And when you're finished, you can download your MP4 file. There you go. Hope you enjoyed that one, folks. See you next time.